All my students' art looks exactly as the internet says it should look. So why is my art Eckers or Itter score so low? There are a few reasons why one's Eckers or Itter score might be low. However, if children's art looks like the result of a project found online from a place like Pinterest or YouTube, there's a high chance that the art may be more focused on what the end product looks like rather than the child's process in creating it. To address this, art should be offered to children over 18 months old and include individualized experiences. By individualized, we mean children are allowed to use the materials they want in their own way. Their art should be uniquely theirs. Let's think more about product art versus process art. In product art, a teacher may fix mistakes. All art looks the same or children are offered ditto sheets. With product art, there's a finished product in mind. You may find that a teacher dictates where elements should go. In product art, a teacher creates a sample for children to copy, and children must follow instructions. Frequently, patterns and step-by-step instructions are available online. You may also see that children feel frustrated at being unable to make their piece look like the teachers. What is process art, and how is it individualized? With process art, there's no sample to follow. There's no right or wrong way to explore, and children get to choose from a variety of materials to make their pieces. The experience focuses on how the tools or materials are used, and a variety of tools are provided for children to choose from. This leads to art that is original and unique to each child. With process art, the experience should feel relaxing and enjoyable, and there are no step-by-step instructions. So how do we support process art? We can provide a variety of materials. We can encourage children to explain their art. We can provide inspiration, not direction. And we can talk about the way that they're using their materials and encourage exploration. For more information on developmentally appropriate ways to support art in the classroom, please see our courses, Math, Science, and Art in Preschool, and Math, Science, and Art for Infants, Toddlers, and Twos.